In this video, we're going to go over both setting the fields on separate lines in a rich text field as well as a long text field. Now, I do have a prior video on this channel that talks about rich text field, but we're going to go over that again. I spoke at the Witness Success in July 2022 and went over the fun of formulas in Flow. So I've got two different fields for my picnic. I'm on a custom object that I built for that particular talk for picnic. And I have a list of foods and a list of games that we're going to have at the picnic. And just to give you some background on the related items, here's the foods and here's the games. But I need these particular list of items on this object so I can use it in an email. And that's why I'm moving it from that list of related objects into this particular object. These are two separate flows. We will start with the list of foods. Let's go to the back side. I'm on the back side now, the setup side of Salesforce, and I'm going to find my food update list of foods flow. Let's open that flow and see that Every time a record is created, I want to run my flow. I get the picnic tied to the food that will be part of the picnic, as that is a master detail or lookup relationship. And then I assign it to the list. So initially, that field, if I go back to that field on the list of foods, might be blank, might have nothing. And then I add foods to my picnic, and it will add drinks if I added that. And we will do an example of this. So let me find a picnic, or you know what? Let's just create a brand new picnic. Let's have some fun. We'll call this the winter picnic, since it is winter as I'm doing this. It'll be a family and friend picnic, and we're going to make it on the day after Christmas. And I'm thinking it might be snowing that day. And we're going to put the temperature as a high of 9. We'll just go to Twin Lakes. I'm not going to fill in the address right now. So my list of foods that we're going over in this is blank. And now I'm going to go to Related and choose some foods that I want at this picnic. Let's see, let's just say snowballs. And that could be a game too, right? But this is something we're going to eat, maybe the coconut items of cake. Now let's go look at our picnic, and all I have is snowballs. So now let's go back into that flow. It's a very simple item. So I'm getting the list of foods that already exist. Right now that would be snowballs, and adding the name of the food, and I have a formula for that. So we're going to look at that in a moment with a BR. And that BR with the slash is what allows us to have a break in the line. So now let's dive into the food name formula and all that is is the record name and using that formula with that br at the end made it very easy you might be able to try it with just record name but that's how i've set it up it works very well and we will go back and see in our winter picnic let's add one more item i think we're going to need some hot chocolate and we're probably going to need 89 servings of that as well and now we'll go back to our picnic and all that is on the next line. So now let's dive into the games, which is a long text field and that's very, very different. So I'm going to close out of this and I've got picnic games because I've got picnic uh, games junction object from the games because we have a finite set of games and games can be used at multiple picnics. So I did that a little bit differently for the example. Same thing, a record is created, get the picnic, go get the game because it is a junction object, which I will show on this side as well. So I've got picnic games and here's my winter picnic and I've got toss across as a game. And let's do one. Now these don't sound like winter games, I know, um, but these are the games we might be playing. And I thought it was tag that I had in here as well. So I have to find what I have as another game 
I know I have hide and seek. That's a great game to play in the winter. You could just hide in the snow. Okay, so back on my picnic, I've got two now, and these are also on separate lines. So this is very, very different. Here I'm assigning two parts. So I've got a variable, which we will dive into momentarily, and I'm adding the initial list to that variable, and then I take that same variable and add my formula. So let's dive into those items. Here's my variable, game variable. It's nothing but a text item. And I was adding the initial list. And the initial list are the games that already exist. So, for example, when we already added toss across, that was on the list. We need to go back and get that list to be able to add to it. And let's look at our assignment again. I added the initial list, whatever that list might be. And then I have my picnic game formula. So now let's go to the picnic game formula. In a long text field, I need to add my formula to that initial list. And that includes a line break text template and the game, the name of the brand new game that was just created. So there's another part that we have to go look at. Here's my line break text template. This is two empty strings. Now, empty string constant is something we'll dive into next, but you have two of them to make that separate line. So now let's look at my constant, which is one global empty string. So that obviously is a global item that already exists. Let's go backwards now. We've got my empty string constant, and I want to look at my text template, and I have two of those in here. I know that sounds crazy, and my text template is plain, but that is how we get it on a separate line. So let's go back into my formula, which is that empty string added to the formula. So let's go back again and look at that formula one more time. Line break, line break text template, and then the new game, right? And so the line break makes it up because it's hard to picture all at once. I wanted to show this in a PowerPoint slide that was created for the Witness Success in case there was no Wi-Fi. So again, we have our long text game variable and I'm adding the initial list and then I'm adding the picnic game formula. And here's my initial list is all the games that already exist off of our field on that picnic object. And the formula is the line break text template and the new one that launched the flow in the first place. That would be the new game or picnic game. And then the line break text template is made up of two empty strings from the constant. And the constant is just one global constant empty string. So if you take this particular slide with all of the parts, then you can build it from there. You might start start with the empty string, add that, create a plain text template, take that, add that to your formula field that also has the name of the brand new game. And then with the picnic game formula, you also have your initial list, then you can make this up. As you can tell, a rich text field is much easier to put on separate lines than a long text field. And then last but not least, we update our picnic with the new game variable because we've assigned the whole thing to this text variable.